Hello dear all, welcome to College Review Series by Akash. I'm back with yet another NIT whose grandeur itself will push you to work harder to make it to this college. I'm talking about NIT Jalandhar. Come, let's explore with me its wonderful placements, amazing campus, approachable cut-off, wide range of courses and a lot more. And if you want to know what NIT Jalandhar alumni are doing presently, then do watch this video till the end. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar National Institute of Technology is a prestigious engineering institute in India. It has been ranked 46 by NIRF in the engineering category and 72nd in the overall category. NIT Jalandhar campus is widespread over an area of 154 acres. It has many topographical features like various buildings of different natures, clean and wide roads surrounded by green belts. The campus is broadly divided into various functional zones. The institution zone, basically for the teaching department. The residential zone for staff and faculty members. The student hostel zone, basically for students. Other amenities on the campus include a guest house, a community center, a dispensary, a shopping complex, playground, new tennis court, a central seminar hall, and night canteen. Talking about undergraduate programs. NIT Jalandhar offers a wide range of programs in Bachelor of Technology with almost 1112 seats in the following disciplines. Biotechnology, Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Data Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication, Electronics and VLSI Engineering, Information Technology, Instrumentation and Control Engineering, Industrial and Production Engineering, Mechanical Engineering and Textile Engineering. Now let's discuss fee structure at NIT Jalandhar. Talking about the tuition fee. For students who belong to ST, SC or PH category and the candidates with family income less than 1 lakh rupee, the tuition fee for these students is completely nil. Secondly, for candidates whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupee per annum, the tuition fee for these students is 20,840 per semester. And for the students whose family income is more than 5 lakh rupee per annum, the tuition fee for these students is 62,500 rupees per semester. Plus, there is an additional amount of 17,000 which is to be paid by all the students per semester irrespective of their category. With this, the institute also offers certain merit as well as need-based scholarships. The scholarships include Dr. Pratap Singh Memorial Scholarship. Now, this includes an award of Rs 10,000 to the overall topper of BTEC civil engineering student. And it also includes a scholarship of Rs 20,000 in each semester to a needy student. The second scholarship is Merit Cum Mean Scholarship. Now, this one is for meritorious but economically weaker section students. 200 scholarships are offered in this category. The third is Simon Scholarship Program. The scholarship aims to support deserving candidates to pursue their education in engineering, architecture and research and development. A lot has been said for the placements at NIT Jalandhar. Let's have a look at the branch-wise placement details from 2022-23 BTEC session. The data shows that maximum placements were done from computer science and engineering and mechanical engineering branch that was 95%. whereas Placement percentage of all the branches was around and above 70% except biotechnology and textile technology which was 33 and 51% respectively. Now let's look at the maximum and average packages in various branches offered by prominent brands. As we can see that the highest package obtained by the students was 51 lakh in branches electrical and communication, computer science engineering and information technology with overall placement percentage of 79.47 percent 150 plus recruiters visited the campus last year the eligibility criteria at all the nits is same all you have to do is to qualify joint entrance exam jee main 
and pass class 12th board examination with science stream. If you are a student of general category, then 75% is the required percentage and 65 is for STSE or PH category. Further, the candidates must register for JOSA counselling based on your J main score. Selected students should get their documents verified and pay the required fees. For foreign students, you get selected through DASA, direct admission of students abroad. Now let's move on to NIT Jalandhar Cutoff 2023. As we all know that seats at all the NITs are reserved, 50% for home state candidates and remaining 50% for other states candidates. So in order to reserve a seat here at NIT Jalandhar in your preferred branch, you must meet the rank expectation. Though the best thing is the rank expectation here is a bit lesser than most of the other NITs. Let's have a look at the NIT Cutoff 2023. The table shows branch-wise rank requirements after the sixth round of JOSA counselling for gender-neuter candidates. If you want category-wise data, then do visit the link given in the description. Let's start with the chemical engineering. For all the candidates seeking admission in this branch, must note that the rank closed at 52,318 for home state and at 40,417 for other states' candidates. This means that home state candidates must target to obtain rank below 50,000 and other state candidates must target less than 40,000 rank to get into this branch. Talking about computer science and engineering branch, home state candidates. See, if you manage to get 16,000 rank, then also you can get this branch as the rank close at 16,205 and other state candidates 11,017 is the closing rank. So, all those who are working keenly to get CSC, NIT Jalandhar has a great score for all of you. Let's see Data Science and Engineering, another popular branch here like CSC. The closing rank is 18,679 for the home state candidates and for the other state candidates it is 13,373. Now, this means you'll have to work really hard to get admission here. Now, Electrical Engineering. See, the opening rank is 27,250 and closing is 32,848 for home state candidates. Whereas, for other state candidates, it is 19,308 and 22,308. Therefore, around 30,000 should be the target rank for home state and at least 20,000 for other state candidates. Similarly, you can check the rank requirements for all other branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. Now let's find out what are some of the NIT Jalandhar alumni doing presently. Some of the notable alumni of this NIT include Anandya Ghosh, the director at New York University Stern School of Business, Upasana Taku, the co-founder at Mobiquick, Ali Heather Rizvi, Director Morgan Stanley, Ajit Mohan Karimpana, the CEO Furlanko, Amit Boni, the founder and CEO at Ensure Edit, are just a few among many. You can connect with them on the official website of NIT Jalandhar and explore the institute through their experiences. Overall, with quality education, good placements and decent infrastructure, NIT Jalandhar has managed to secure a comfortable place in the list of top 10 NITs and hence is preferred by most of the engineering aspirants. This was all from me today. Now you let me know which other NIT do you want me to review next. Do like and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out on any of the updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.